all, and welcome to tonight's beer review, which I am dubbing, well, this actually is not a beer review. Surprise! I should probably restart this, but I'm not going to, because I'd like to do this all in one take. No titles, no nothing. It's your most ghetto, unprofessional beer review you can find on YouTube. And you can buy that for a dollar. So, we're doing a beer comparison tonight. The beers we are comparing are both Sierra Nevadas, both fairly light IPAs, this one, oopsie, being 5.9, this one being 6.2, this one was a hot oil distilled one, this one I believe they sort of used, um, they used a different, they used different malts, but they're both fairly light, fairly fresh, they're both Sierra Nevadas, and they've both been through the torpedo process, i.e. using the Sierra Nevada hop torpedo in the brewing process. So I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison on this. So why don't we start with the Golden IPA. Light, frothy, somewhat, actually it's a little bit thick, fingers worth a yellowish white head, bright orange color, well not bright orange, a little bit closer to yellow orange than orange yellow. And you got some nice, nice citrus over cereal malts. I like that. I like that. Now onto the Hop Hunter, which I'm pouring into a Belgian glass because I find that the bouquet, it gives a similar bouquet to um, the other glass. Oh, it's got that ozone-y smell as soon as you open it. Smell of ozone. This head's a little bit fizzier. Much more tropical fruit smells than citrus in this one. Hints of skunk. I'm not getting much malt underneath that. So, color comparison side by side here. What would be the darker? I would definitely give it to the Golden IPA. Probably kind of tough to tell in this light here, but, well, actually, I think you can, too, tell the difference. Just a hair, just a hair darker. Now, for the taste. Mmm. What comes to first to mind is the finish. It strikes a very Pilsner-esque note, that sort of minerally taste to it. Still clearly an ale by the front. Have some nice grainy malts. Light grapefruit flavoring. Light grapefruit flavor, sorry, no grapefruit flavoring. Light grapefruit flavor. Um, a bit of zest. And a mildly bitter but lasting finish. Mm, a bit reminiscent of, lightly reminiscent of pine sap. Head's kind of sticking with this one. I like it. It's refreshing. 
Good balance in between hops and malts there. Immediately notice thicker mouthfeel. Rather resinous middle to finish. The malts are more on the sweet side, lending a juicy note to it as opposed to a grainier, grainier side of the golden. But hops are definitely, this, this is definitely weighted towards the hops. Very juicy front, tropical fruit, and skunk. Bit of grassy notes to it. This one definitely has much more bitterness, but not like Imperial IPA bitterness, it's just much more bitter in subjective comparison. Now remember, this is 55 IBUs, this is 60 IBUs. Excuse me. So not an actual very large difference in measurement of um, the alpha oils, but very different in perceptive qualities here. Despite this one having less of a heavy malt presence, it actually comes across as um, sweeter on the palate. Less of a malt presence in body, I mean. In, in other words, gravity of it. In other words, more grain is put into this, which means more carbohydrates, which means ostensibly more sweetness, but this one, which is lighter, kind of comes across as a little bit sweeter. It's a very interesting thing, where these beers are actually not that far apart. Um, again, 5.9 versus 6.2 ABV, 55 IBUs versus 60 IBUs. Yet this one comes across as markedly much more thicker, much more bitter, much more intense. This one comes across as light. I would say almost an entire step down in bitterness and with a hint of sweet, very refreshing. So, what has this side-by-side -side gone to kind of prove? Well, it can prove what I believe I've discussed tonight is how these are both fairly similar styles. Again, main difference, I believe, is in the type of malt used in the Golden, which is a bit atypical from the average IPA. But don't quote me on that. Um... Otherwise, around the same alcohol content, around the same bitterness, one's just slightly more alcoholic, one's just slightly more bitter, but subjectively it comes across as a lot more. Why? I'm not a brewer, so I can't tell you. <laughs> 
But I just think it's really interesting. And if any of you are home brewers or professional brewers, feel, please feel free to go and enlighten us, school us, inform us. So, that was your side-by-side -side comparison for tonight, folks. It was a hell of a lot of fun to do it. Love having two beers. Cheers.